really would like to know what went on with this thing, dude. I was jonesing for a tattoo. I started, it's just, I said, I need a tattoo. I got to get a tattoo. So I said, I got to figure out a way to get a tattoo. I got no money. So I said to myself, I was watching Ink Mister like the night before. I said, I'd do anything to get a free tattoo on TV. I went, I sent the email in and a picture. And my girl says, I said, oh, yeah, they're going to put me on the TV. No question. You knew you were a star. Well, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm trying not to be so vain. So then I meet the artist. When I sat down for that tattoo, it just segued from bad to worse. Ready? Ready. Wow, that's terrible, man. And let me tell you something. The look on the judges' faces, I, I knew it was going all bad. Oh, you could just... no. Dude, that is scary. I don't think it's the worst one. It but is. You think it's the worst one? The face? It looks like Chucky. And then, you know, then you got to stand in front of the judges and then they then they rip into it, you know, at the end. The detail on the jacket, the boots, the hair, the cigarette. Now the tattoo's done, can't see any of it. So then they, they call me and they want me to come back for the finale, right? Bradley, how you doing, man? How you doing, Dave? How you doing, Oliver? Good. Chris. Dave Navarro said, he said, Bradley, I think we have a solution that everybody can live with. And then, and then I knew. I said, oh, who's going to fix my tattoo? And I was like, bro, I was freaking out. Here tonight is season one finalist, Tommy Helm. <laughs> I was so happy. I was like, ah! And I'm Jasmine excited. would be happy to cover the one that Tommy does, so you're covered. Oh, oh, boy, oh, the boy. Whoa! <laughs> I was so happy. I was so happy. I'm happy for you, man.